Okay. So now I want to create categories for my website. And um, what I need to do is get a list of related keywords and then figure out what would be the best category names. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is go into the post section here and also I'm going to click on categories. Okay, so this is where I'm going to create the categories. Okay, now I'm going to open up Google AdWords and we're going to see what um, what related keywords I can find that relate to the best WordPress themes. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. Okay, so I'm in the Google AdWords tool and it is better if you sign up for a free account and then log in, okay, because that is the best way to find out your the best words for you. So I've got the best WordPress themes and I'm going to press search. Okay, so it takes a little minute. Now the first thing up here is um, the global monthly searches. Now to tell you the truth, this is a bit overdone. So what you need to do is untick broad and then tick exact. Okay, because then we can see the exact searches here. Okay. Right, now, so we've got our main keyword. Now, it takes a little bit of common sense here to know what is related. Okay, so all of this, you can't have different categories that all look the same, like best WordPress theme, best WordPress templates. It's just too overboard. So you could get this one for sure best free WordPress themes. Okay, now there's one that I would take right now, so I'm going to tick it. That's one choice because it's got best WordPress themes and I know that I want to sell stuff on the website but you've still got to mention the free ones, okay? Um, then we've got premium WordPress themes but we probably, um, let's keep going, we'll just have a look down here. Okay, now what you want to do is look at the searches as well, as in um, how many searches it is getting. Now we're talking about, um, um, that's pretty good for being an exact search. So yeah, WordPress, best WordPress blog themes. Now, okay, it's a bit weird, but it's, and it's also pretty low, so... Um, you'd probably call that a long tail keyword because, uh, yeah. Now, um, so I'm going to go through myself and um, choose a couple of these. Now here's another one for me. Best premium WordPress themes. It's got a thousand searches on it. Okay. Um, now this three column WordPress theme, this is out now because, you know, um, elegant, I love elegant WordPress themes, okay. Um, best, we could um, take that one, that's okay. A um, couple of others now, I'll go through and then I'll come back and I'll have a list of categories, I'll show you how I get it. Okay guys, I'm still looking, um, but I just wanted to show you a couple of things that you can do here. You can press on, um, just say you wanted to get the highest global monthly searches, you can just press on this column here and it'll resort them, okay, to what is the highest global monthly search here. Now, um, I'm just going to, I have ticked a few boxes here, but of course I would find more if I looked a bit further. Now. Um, I'll just click on uh, this again and see what happens. Okay, so we've got the lowest searches and then we've got the highest. Now this is just for this page. We can also click on keyword and it will bring up 
um, the keywords. Now, sometimes um, it will bring up the furthest match. So if you click it again, it'll bring up the closest match for you. Now, this is just off the page that you're on at the moment. So I'll just see what page I'm up to. I'm actually on page four. So if I want to go back to page one, I'll just press one in there and press enter and it'll take me back to page one. Now, as you can see, it comes up with the best. Now, what, it, what the, I really want is words with best, WordPress and theme in it. Okay, and things that have good searches on them, like here. Okay, um, the other thing is that you can, uh, let's have a look at this one, best e-commerce, that's a good one, but it's only got 110 searches on it. So maybe you'd want to write an article about that rather than use it for a category, okay? So yes, it looks good, but no, it's not really. Okay, but yeah, um, that's the other thing. I am going to use these subjects for articles, so just remember that. Now, the next thing is um, you can also click on, let's get a high volume search, so this one. Click on it, click on that word there, and it'll come up with the search, best free WordPress themes. Now, this is where you can have a look and see who your competition is in here. Actually, that's one of my websites right there. So I'd be in competition with myself. So that's fine. Um, yeah, so what you do is um, you check out the competition. Now, as you know, the words that I've got are best WordPress theme. So I'm going to press search. Now, this person here has got it in their domain name. Um, and some of them haven't, okay? And um, so it's a good thing to check out your competition as well. And um, you'll, you'll probably notice a few things like this is just an article, okay? Uh, this is just an article. This is just an article. This one here is a domain and this one here is a domain. So at the moment, uh, and this one as well, at the moment I would say I've got one, two, three, four, five people in competition with me here. Okay, because the rest are actually posts and stuff like that. Okay, which you could probably um, beat, you never know. All right. So that's one thing that you need to do as well. Okay, so I've got my list, just say, because I'm, I'm overlooking, it takes too long. Right, so now I want to go up the top and I want to download it. So I'm going to press on this here, download. I'm going to choose um, not all, um, even though I want to get all in another, um, so I can get ideas for articles but what I'm going to do is just download the selected, okay, and download it for Excel, okay, and then I'm going to choose to open with, okay, so Excel's opening up and it's giving me my list of keywords here, okay, now you can go and find and replace and take out the brackets and stuff like that, but Anyway, I'm going to copy it, copy that list, okay. I'm going to open up a notepad, I'll just grab it, here it is, and I'll paste it in. And I'll just show you how to get rid of the brackets, okay. There's probably an easier way, but let's just do it. We'll go um, replace and we'll go find what and it'll be the bracket and then replace it with nothing okay don't even put a space there or anything and just press um, replace but let's just do replace all now did you see all them disappear that's how easy it is right so let's replace the other bracket with nothing and press replace all okay 
So we'll close that and there we have the list without the brackets. Okay, so you can do that for anything. Now I'm going to keep the list aside. I'm going to close that Excel and I don't want to save it because I'll have another list later. Now I'm going to the category section. Okay, so my first, I'm just going to grab it again. I'm going to, oops, undo. So press Control Z if you accidentally delete it like I just did. Right, now the first thing that I want to get is this one. That would be my first category, copy. Okay, now we go to the category section and this is our first category here. Now, I like to put a capital letter, okay, at the start of it. Right, because it just looks good when you're showing the categories in your sidebar. I'm going to leave the slug because that is just going to be the URL and what it's going to do is make it best dash WordPress dash themes. So I'm happy with that. Um, it's going to be a top category so I'm going to leave that and then I'm just going to paste this in here and write a description about it. So you need to find the best WordPress themes for your new WordPress website. Okay, now I'll just paste it in again. Oh, the best are often the easiest to work with. Full stop. Let's fix up my spelling. Okay. Um, WordPress is fine, Ra ra ra. let's press add new category. Okay, so we've got it over here. Now see how, it, you see how it looks here. It's got that, it's got a capital, I like that. It's got a description. There's its slug, okay, nice and neat. And there's no posts in that section at the moment. Okay, so let's do one more and I guess that you get the picture about this. So. Um, let's choose another one. The best, um, let's go the best free themes and then the best premium ones after that. So, okay. Right. Now this is the best way to build your website for word, um, for search engine optimization as well because Google will see that your, everything is related. Okay. Um, it's not rocket science, it's just the right way to do it, okay? And then you're going to fill it in with the content that is related. So um, we can just do the same thing. Find the best free WordPress themes when you are short of cash, you know, just say something. Um, and we'll paste it again. See, the reason I'm putting the keyword in a couple of times is um, to reinforce that it is about a free WordPress theme. Right. So, you can use the best free WordPress themes for your new business. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to press add and there's the next one. Okay, nice, neat and um, all the same, ready to go. Okay, got the keywords in all of it. Uh, but it, but it doesn't mean the same thing, which is great. So the next one I do is the free premium WordPress themes. So I hope you get the picture about creating the categories. Okay, so I could go on and create more. I would probably create about five at minimum for the first, um, for your blog. Okay, now um, you can't just create 
any categories you like because your blog will turn into a mess okay so make sure you have a system about what you do here and um, then you'll know what content you, you you're meant to have on your blog right so I have got a couple of categories there so now I can go back to the settings section and I can choose the default category I think it's under writing okay here it is here see the default post category now I can change it to the best WordPress themes okay and I'm going to save the settings alright so that now you know how to make your categories um, the next thing is that we will be installing some plugins. Alright, see you later.